When people think of the cruising lifestyle, visions of sailing through crystal clear water, dolphins playing at the bow, snorkeling beautiful reefs, and long walks on secluded beaches come to mind. What's forgotten is the time spent on boat projects and maintenance. And that has been our world for the past couple months. We have been buried in projects, but we're making progress and we are so close to being able to head back to the Bahamas, the start of our circumnavigation. Good morning. Good morning. Today we're doing a quick pre-departure check of the rig, going up the mast to check the fittings and make sure that it's tight in good condition. Yep. Each day we're making a little bit more progress and soon we will be ready to go. <laughs> All right. Hi. You ready? Okay, ready? birds I hate them they make a mess on these boats Being on the mast is always a little unnerving, no matter how many times you've been up here. Down. Stop. Down. Ready? Yeah. So, how'd it go? Doing well, everything looks good. Awesome. Yeah, the rig is fine. We have a three blade folding gory propeller. It has uh, these flexible stops. So when it, when it opens up, it hits the stop. And after about a year, that's how they look like, all mangled. We got the new ones and we're gonna replace them. The thing is that they don't go in there with kindness. You gotta really jam them in there and be aggressive and hammer the leap out of it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get in the water. There you go. The job was proving to be more challenging than anticipated, so we decided to rent tanks. Unfortunately, the GoPro video files got corrupted somehow, but you're up to speed. The tip from the old rubber stop was stuck inside the hole, preventing the new stop from going in.
unfortunately we were not able to get those rubber stops inside of the prop and so we called AB Marine Fabio spoke with Jeff I believe it was yeah yeah we, we had met him at the boat show yep we met him at the Miami boat show and we we're thinking about taking the prop off, but read through the instructions after he sent them to us. And so we called Jeff back and we said, we asked him if we were going to do any harm to the prop by not having the rubber stops in. He said, no, we won't hurt the prop. It'll change the pitch a little bit. So we won't be able to run at a higher RPM, which is okay with us. And so we will replace the rubber stops when we haul the boat out and the BVIs have the bottom painted. <laughs> On to the next project. The next project is... <laughs> the next project is installing our life raft. We got a Viking six-person ocean rescue pro. We wanted the best thing out there if the boat happened to sink and we actually needed to use the raft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. We got the life raft in a bag instead of the valise because we have a storage container underneath the boat where the life raft is meant to go. Um, we're going to put it in a contractor garbage bag because it's supposed to stay as dry as possible. And uh, we confirmed, actually the, the rep told us that to do that because once the raft opens up, it'll blow the bag to smithereens. So hopefully we'll be able to complete this project. The locker is under the boat and it's connected via a tube to this, to this line locker up on top. And from here, there, and here there is a, a cleat and a, uh, and a release clutch. The line goes inside here and opens this door, right? My concern is that for, for some reason, like we saw in the winds, this door opens up, we lose the raft. Right. So I would like to have the raft in here with another line going through this other clutch, holding the raft inside. In case the door breaks, at least the, the, the raft stays in. First, we're gonna pass another line that we can use to tie to the handles of the life raft. Okay. See, this, this is the line that opens the door, which is now open. And this, this is the clutch that holds it. Okay. Yep, the door is open. Yeah. And in the water. And in the water. Huh. So if that happens, one on the way. Yeah, that's a problem. The rock is just going to appear. Yeah. This will, uh, it should kind of protect some of the sprays that may get into the locker. Yep. the handles and this will be basically what's going to hold us hold the raft up in case of the uh, unexpected deployment of the door we won't lose the raft once we want to deploy it with the release the door and releases the anima and the the, the rip cord is going to be attached to the anima so we can pull it inside okay perfect yeah okay 
Okay. So now, the tricky part comes. Choose to lift this wrap inside that hole without dropping the water. Great. A little more. Yes, and I'll pull the Nemo. This is a little nerve wracking. Okay. Lift more. Okay, great. It looks pretty good. And I'll pull the Nemo. Great. Yeah. door is closed. Yeah. I'm glad we tied the Dyneema too because it seems like exactly not that secure. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Great. That was easy. <laughs> we are so close to having the boat ready for our departure for the Bahamas and we're getting really excited. We still need to do a sea trial. And so yeah. <laughs> we've been checking the weather for the sea trial and then also for when we can actually cross over to the Bahamas. We're gonna uh, sail from Fort Lauderdale to West End on Grand Bahama. So looking at predict wind, Monday, the wind is good. It's, you know, 15 to, 18 knots really but it looks like we're gonna have between six and five foot waves tuesday the wind goes down a little bit 9 10 to 13 and then we've got waves at four foot and the wind is southeast so my tuesday is probably the better day to do the sea trial yeah. it just doesn't give us a lot of time if we want to depart on friday to fix anything yes if something doesn't work right so it's probably better if we go out on monday and then looking at our departure planning so on friday it looks like we're gonna have wind from the south and it'll be 10 11 knots so not a ton of wind but definitely good enough to make the crossing to west end we leave at seven in the morning, we would get there at three o'clock. So it would be about an eight hour passage, which is perfect. So you want to plan for that? Yeah, let's plan for that. Let's go. <laughs> we want to give a big shout out to our initial group of patrons. We are so happy to have you guys as part of the crew. Thank you so much for your support. And to everybody else, thanks for watching the video. Get, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and we will see you next time.